Hey guys, welcome back to Nice Junk. Uh, we left off last time with um, taking apart the bonus motor from the generator and kind of had to leave it kind of fast. I was not feeling good. I'm still not feeling the greatest, but we're going to take this apart, weigh it up, and uh, they're saying we're supposed to be back up to 17 degrees Celsius by Tuesday. Um, right now, the generator is still buried in snow. So I'm thinking over the weekend and the 17 degrees, it should melt up pretty good so we can get back at that. But I didn't want to leave you hanging without a video for this week. So here we go. So I tried several methods um, that you guys suggested. Some I couldn't because where I'm at, it's illegal to burn, um, you know, uh, wire and stuff. So I probably could get away with it, but hey, I'm on YouTube and you can't tell me that the authorities don't watch this crap. So I'm not going to do that and incriminate myself at the same time. But I did just come across a method that worked really, really well, really, really fast. And, and that was Project Shop Florida. So thank you very much, Derek. And I'll be sending you off some stickers uh, to you. Thanks again, buddy. So let's get back at this. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut, do some cutting. So we got that all cut off. Um, took a little bit. I had a disc uh, break on me and um, I can't seem to get the nut off. So I finished it off with my four and a half inch. I'll work on that other thing another day um, or I might just go buy a new one. I've, I hate that grinder. So there's no, life's too short to be uh playing around with stuff you don't like, right? So we'll pound these things out and then we can weigh, weigh up how much copper was in this piece here. I'm still gonna, I'm thinking I'm still going to cut up the other motor, which was the piece that was inside of this. So, so, I'm going to use the little hammer and go all the way around because they all kind of intertwine together. It's beautiful. Clean that shit off. A little bit of insulated wire. That's nice, good weight. Where's the other one? Oh, here it is. Here's another one. This weight. I'm actually going to clean up the shop a little bit, pick up the stray, the strays that landed on the floor, and sweep up some of this copper dust. I'm sorry, copper dust goes into the same bucket. 
they make enough money, they can afford to buy the dust as well. So I just wanted to show you guys that just the steel around that little bit of a motor was 109 pounds, three ounces. And the safe house itself for shred, which I'm gonna get prepared for it. I just don't know what the prepared price is. That'd be $9.84. So, here's the copper just from the motor, and it weighs 42.30 pounds. Last time I brought copper in, I've heard it's gone up since then, but we're just going to use those numbers, $4.15 makes it $175.55. That's some nice junk. Okay, so now we're going to do the inner motor of that last motor we just did. And uh, I just put a new cylinder on Bertha. This is the first time I've ever cut a motor with Bertha. They tell me it works. We'll see. I don't know. I only have the one blade, so if it breaks, we're doing it the old fashioned way. So here I'm just cutting it in warp speed. Um, it ended up jamming, almost blew the breaker. So I ended up having to reset and just cut off the crown. So I'm going to tear this out and we're going to take that crown just the crown is 5 pounds 0.25 ounces for $21.80 so Let's get the rest of this thing apart. I tried to slice it in half. It, this thing is just too thick. Um, it started to jam up. My flight, lights started to flicker. So I shut it off before we blew a breaker. So, yeah, that wasn't uh, planned for sure. I think first of all, I'm going to try and remove these little spacers just to let go of some of that pressure. And uh, probably just going to do that with the air chisel. We'll see. And then we'll start pulling the copper out. So this thing is so full of glue either I'm going to have to heat it up somehow or um okie dokie scrapper he turned around and he had a uh, video recently that said he uses methyl ethyl ketone i believe you can get that at the uh, hardware store and you put that in the um in a jug and uh well, not, not a jug, but a pail. You put that in a pail. And it doesn't even have to be submerged. The fumes, I guess, melts the resin off. Um, I don't know. I 
Really don't want to be spending money on that. I'm thinking probably uh, it's going to have to be heat up somehow. Um, I couldn't get those spacers out. There's, they're glued right in as well, so we're kind of not doing too well. I tried to cut it in littler sections to pull it out. That was a no-go. I'm sure if I can get one out, then the rest will be a lot easier. So let's try something. So, I tried using the grinder and these here. Just get rid of some of that ceramic disc. Did that. Went after it with the air chisel. Nada. Um, so, I think we know the answer. We either got to cook this thing or try... Um, okie dokie's method and kind of leaning I'll, I'll try his method first and if not then we'll cook her there's just too much copper there to leave it alone so I could also just sell it as motors but I don't want to do that I want the copper so okay so that's it for this episode, Nice Junk. We'll see you next week. Bye. And that was some nice junk.